Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Dressed like a grown man. And it's a style thing. I mean, look. <laughs> it should. It, you know, it, this is one of those things. It should be obvious. But you know something I've seen? I've seen like men in their 40s, 50s, even 60s. They walking around dressed like they teenagers. I've seen that a lot. They dress, they dress like teenagers. Now, maybe if you in your 20s, you can be like, like early 20s, like you just, you know, like 21 or something. I'm like, you, you get a big pass then. Because, you know, shoot, depending on who you are, you probably look like you're still a teenager anyway. Because men don't really fill out and really get like, their real body build until their 30s anyway and you keep they still like developing and everything so we give you that but then when you like 40 and you still dressing like a teenager you know you still wearing those clothes uh some some dudes be wearing like you know what i ain't even gonna comment on it but wearing it pants off the ass i was gonna comment something else but i've actually seen some adult dudes doing it i was like you know but even then even then you know i'm just like what the hell you're supposed to be a grown man at some point as a man you gotta put away childish things now you know what i know like you know the young people got some fly stuff you know, got their ripped jeans and, you know, skin tight jeans, all of that. Oh, that's on them. Plus, the way fashion is, they'll come out of it. But when you see that on some adult man, you just, oh. like, if I see an adult man with ripped jeans, I'm kind of like, especially if he's older. Maybe if he's in his 20s, he's modeling or something, but, you know, yeah, like I said, you can get a little bit past in your 20s, but if you're in your 30s and 40s, you're like, what? If you're a grandpapa, I like that. Because I always thought about that. Because I remember um, I was living in this house and had to get a new washer and dryer in. And, you know, one of the delivery guys, it was a woman and a guy delivering it. A big old woman. She owned, she owned a, like, little delivery company that was bringing it. And the guy working with it, dude looked like he was in his 40s, but he wasn't wearing no belt. He was wearing some, like, aqua underwear and shit. I was like, damn, dude, how old are you? Pull your motherfucking pants up. You know? Seriously. I was like, I was being nice about it. Because I ain't, I ain't I, that's what I was thinking. Another situation, I might have even said that. And like, you a guy listening, man, pull up your pants, man. You still see some adult men out here with their pants off the ass, which, <laughs> you know. If, if by now people haven't heard that that whole style was supposedly started in prison for guys advertising, I don't have nothing else to say about it. But whatever the case, it ain't a grown-ass man, you know, or grown-ass men, you know. You don't be, need to be wearing, like, basketball shoes as, like, um, you know, just a casual thing, you know. If you about to play ball, that's one thing. But casual, that's something else. That's more younger folks, you know. It's nothing wrong with it. And they got stylish stuff. You can still, I mean, you can still wear some good walking shoes. You can still wear nice shirts and everything. Because, I mean, let's be real. People, I mean, despite how much you want to believe in yourself, people are going to respond to you according to your image. Your image is very important. Shout out Kevin Samuels. Seriously, and you want to dress like a grown man because people will treat you differently. That's why some men, they catch some hell. They could be going in stores or even out on the road. Cops might stop them, something like that. I'm like, well, you dress like you're a teenager. That don't even look right. You dress like a boy. If you're a grown man, carry yourself as a man. Look like a man. You know? Even no matter what you wearing, dress like a grown ass man. When you uh, you know, you got, you know, you don't need to be wearing some throwback jersey if it's not and if it's not game day. You know, if it's game day, you know everybody wear that. Okay, we give you that. But now if it's not game day, you know, I remember there was a young dude in my neighborhood. Well, he didn't look that young and stuff, but all he had was throwbacks and everything. 
And, you know, the woman he was dealing with probably, you know, she kicked him to the curb at some point. I was like, yeah, he should have been walking around like a grown-ass man. You know? But seriously. And this ain't this ain't going to be too long because, it, it, seriously, dress like you got some sense. Dress like you got some power. That's a, that's a very good style thing. Because when you see men with money who really got money, who really got power, you know, and I ain't talking about, like, rappers and entertainers. I'm, I'm talking about the guys who probably own the companies that they're going through or something. Even when they casual, they dress grown. Even when they casual. And it means a lot. It says something. It's a uniform. You know, that's the uniform. And people are going to respond to you according to your uniform. Very key. Very, very key. So, that's all we got for now. All right? That's all we got for now. So I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.